was the that got me. It was the break. Deflate, cause I was gas. Head over heels in love with the electric drums and spoken vocals, which was the joke of locals and laughing stock of my rock and roll ass town. But the rhythmic acupuncture pierced my skin, pinning the butterflies to my stomach, which would flutter every time I heard the boom. More than a doo-doo. I was no devil worshiper! Higher level interpreter. I refuse to lose focus and recite satanic verses with many curses. Drug induced worse was I knew they were saying, kill your mother, because it paid them well. Yet in my flashback, I see the foreshadow, ironic twist. My first purchase was a hip hop record called Raising Hell. <laughs> I should have run when I had the chance, but DMCs made me want to break dance, made me want to spin vinyl, made me want to graph right, made me want to not act white. Wow. Oh. No, not to perpetuate any stereotype, but I was not about the mullet ice hockey haircut. <laughs> hey, uh, y'all know the mullet, right? I seen a bunch of Pittsburgh mullet just the other day. Short on top for the fellas. Long and back for the ladies, yeah. <laughs> I was not about the stonewash nut huggers with the French rolls on the bottom so tight it turned my toes purple. Nor was I about the ripped jean jacket with the Megadeth Metallica and Slayer patch. I had an internal itch for the <laughs> Never could I get with the bit your own guitar riff, the bit your own guitar riff, the B. I had wild style wars. Now I rented Beach Street every week as I rock steady, wearing out the play, rewinding slow-mo buttons on my VCR. I did the pause play, pause play, pause play all day, forced my way into comprehension of inner city invention. For me, it was in the expression which would eventually win me exception. One exception. Those around me wouldn't give me affection, but I played and paid that video attention until eventually I completely bit the <laughs> Found my new religion. Born again B-boy. Born to destroy decoys and be the real McCoy. Yeah, boy! I wore the clock so you could know the time. Chuck D told me to keep a sober mind, and even though his sidekick liked the flavor of bass, I swore to God hip hop was about being drug free. Word? <laughs> I swore to God, hip-hop was about the upliftment of humanity. And I swore to God, hip-hop was what rock was not, was what rock was not, was not pop. I guess I was gassed. See, I remember when Dr. Dre used to express himself about hating the chronic. A few years later, he's endorsing it while drinking gin and tonic. Suburbanites who blast mace learn their mad face from onyx. It was a rat race, the first to properly use the barnix. Down home I like JJ, but it was a fad like supersonic. Hip hop flip from being artistic to a pop hit. Mainstream to control, now we can't stop it. It's a black art. Being manipulated by white controllers. <laughs> Just like rock and roll is. We took the boom. <laughs> 